I haven't got very far with the forehead because I've been busy making a, a steam engine from uh, one of my mates for his Christmas present. It's to run his Meccano set off, so I've used a lot of Meccano parts for base and sides, so you can bolt whatever models you build to it. At the moment it's running on about £20 per square inch. One thing that you could be interested in is I had to go etching my own nameplates and they've come out rather well actually for the, the first attempt. I've also etched some small makers plates for the Fora. When I get time I'll uh, do a video and show you how to do this. It's got a double acting piston on and a nice big old heavy flywheel about the lane in the box for the edges. The exhaust Get a bit of draw and uh, yeah, it's just made out of old bits of scrap lying about in the shed. I'll share a couple of uh, pictures of it running on steam now. I, can't, I don't run it on steam at the moment, I don't want to spoil the field work for him. For his, uh, I want it to look all pristine for his Christmas present. And now I'm going to test it on steam. I've just had the boiler. Steaming up for a minute or two. We are going in reverse. It's still not going as fast in reverse as it is forward. I'm going forward again. Going in reverse again, doing a bit better this time. Just getting whizzing forward. Cutting in the slots in the reversing valve, all I do is I get a, an old drill, same size as slot as I want to cut, and on this end I'll sharpen it so it's a bit like a D bit, and then I'll hold it in my tool post. There you see, drill there with flat area above, and then all I do is I feed it into one of the holes I want to cut and rotate the 
the chuck by hand till it gets to the next hole. I'll just show you what I mean if I can. So I feed the bit in. Just feed it into all just a little bit. So it's touching. Rotate the chuck by hand. I only take very little cuts, a couple of a foul at most, and bring it back to the first hole again. Feed it in, cut it by hand, back again. Back again, feed him in. Just keep going like that. As you can see already, it's starting to to cut a slot in. And I'll just keep going until I get it to the right depth. There we go, I've got him fired up to about uh, £20 per square inch. As you can see, it's got a forward and reverse control on. It's working quite well now. A little spin there. I've made the the maker's plate for this side etched as well I'm rather pleased with the little burner that uh, I made for it it's all ready to go like I said I don't uh, I don't fire it up because it's my mate's Christmas present but that's it the jobs are good then Meccano steam engine hopefully any nice Meccano models he makes that will drive it beautifully <laughs>